Hi, in the previous example we saw how to create two tables from one class and in this example we are going to see how to create one table from two or more classes. I have a package in which I have like a class called school and I have also created a class called school detail basically empty classes. Using these two classes I am going to create one table. Now here I have a class called school with school ID and school name. Now let us generate the getters and setters for this. So now I have the school with school ID and school name with the getters and setters for that for this particular data. And now let us go to the school detail and in this school detail I have like the school address is public school and the student count and let us now generate the getters and setters for school detail. So now we have this other class with three data and getters and setters for that particular class. Now using these two classes school and school detail I want to create one table. Now how do I go about that? Now let us put the annotations that we already know. I know this table has to be called school. So what I will do is I will call this the entity class. I want my school ID to be the primary key and I want the primary key to be auto generated. So now I have the school with entity ID and generated value. Now how do I combine the school and school detail class into one table? All you have to do is if you want to combine like two or more classes into one table first we need a reference of the school detail that is an object of the school detail in the school class. So let us create an object of school detail in the school class. So now that we have created an object of school detail in the school class let us generate the getters and setters for the school detail. Now to create two classes into one table I basically have to embed the school detail in the school class. So this is the embedded class. This is the embedded class. So go to the getter method of the school detail and say this is the embedded class embedded from javax.persistence. This is the embedded class. Now this school detail I should not put an entity right here because if I put it as entity that means it's going to create a separate table for school detail. No I don't want to create a separate table for school detail. All I want is to embed the school detail into the school. So this is embedded here and in school detail you have to say this is embeddable em control space and embeddable and that's it it's so simple all you have to do to create two classes one table is you create an instance of the other classes in whatever class you want to like combine it with and in this particular class you create an instance of the other classes and just say they are embedded into this class and to the other classes you just go and say they are all embeddable classes. Now let us go and test this. So here I have my annotation configuration and add annotated classes. In this case I have to add the school class and then I call the config.configure schema export and session factory and session and all those things. Now let us go and create the objects. Now first I create the objects of the school detail because school detail since school detail is embedded into my school class and I'll have to use the setter method of school to set the school detail. I am first going to create an object of the school detail class. So I have created an object of school detail with set public school false and set school address and set student count. And now let us go create an object of school. And so here I have created an object of school and to that object of school I have passed the school details object. In set school detail I have passed the school details object. Now let us save the session and let us commit the transaction. 
we can now run this particular test class and check it out. So let us go to the database and here if you notice we have one table called school and if you check out the school table you can see that it has combined both the school and school detail into one table. 